there's a lot of black people that felt like integration kind of did in a lot of these bustling black communities. Mm -hmm. And the east side of Temple was a prideful place. Yeah. You were proud to be, from what I was told and what I saw is growing up coming in, like mm -hmm. I say, our family was here, so we were mm -hmm. visiting in the summers. Mm -hmm. That was a proud thing. We have a grocery store, and you go down to Mr. Mm -hmm. These were sources of pride, and the if you ever want to see something spectacular, pull out an old Dunbar Meredith uh, yearbook okay? mm -hmm. and watch these elders go through it and talk. And they had cheerleaders and football teams and drill teams and yeah. baseball teams. And all oh, mean Joe Green graduated from here and then he went on to play in the NFL. Like, right. there's so much pride. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They yeah. want, and then you start talking about, well, what happened in, the, in, in 77, 78 um, when you guys started going to Temple High? Oh, well, we had to fight every day. And then there were, you see, you know, now there's all these issues right. because they didn't want him there and they didn't want to be there. Yeah, and, and my son, he goes to Copper's Cove High, and, and um, there's probably every day, there's, so there's four different group sessions, four different groups as they cycle through lunch, and God forbid if any of them crisscross each other. Hmm. And there's fights right there in the auditorium, just almost daily, you know, anymore the police have to camp there. And why do you think the fights, they fighting because? You know, I, I that I've never, at, because he's, it's not always, a, it's not white and black, and Sometimes it's black on black or it's white on white. It's not always, it's just why it's a, uh, what's going on, what's right. going on with, with our youth.